everyone, in today's video, I shall try to talk about the poem, and the poem is written by Ajit Burua, and the title of the poem you have already known from the thumbnail, and the title of the poem is Lovely is Our Village. Lovely is Our Village, it is written by Ajit Burua. Ajit Burua, he is an eminent Assamese poet, and he was born in Guwahati in 1926. He is also a recipient of several awards, including Sahitya Academy Award and Bharatiya Bhasa Parishad Calcutta Award. Apart from that, he is also recognized by the literary circle in Assam as a major poet who restored a kind of intellectual dignity to modern Assamese poetry. So before beginning the poem, I would like to hear uh, say a few words that this poem, Lovely is Our Village. Here, through this poem, the poet has tried to depict the beauty of uh, a village, especially an Assamese village. Okay? If I say specifically uh, an Assamese village, that means the poet has tried to diametrically delineate the plight the fragrance, the conditions, and the beauty of an Assamese village that is based on Assamese culture and Assam. Okay? Therefore, through this poem, when you will read this poem, you will get many words that is utterly related to Assamese lifestyle and that is related to Assam, North Eastern Indian part of Assam. Okay? Uh, besides, the poet has also tried to depict that uh, his lovely village, his lovely village is uh, full of natural beauty, mesmerizing beauty, and apart from that, his village is so beautiful that he, that his village cannot be compared with any other place of this planet. Okay. Furthermore, the poet has also tried to depict that if India gains independence, then will his village be the same after the independence too, or when India will get Swaras or self-rule or self or independence, after that too, uh, will his village survive like this as it is now surviving in the rule of Britain or the British rule? So that all kind of thing he has tried to depict, he has tried to interweave, but uh, most importantly, through this poem, the poet has tried to depict the uh, affluent Assamese culture, affluent Assamese landscape and affluent Assamese uh, custom, cuisine, and various other elements of day-to-day -day life. So without any delay, let's begin the point. Lovely is our place. The swift rustle of the seeps of paddy breaks on the banks of my air drums. Overheard is the splendid mockings in the forest of Kuzi, Takera, Zolfai, and Omora leaves. So through this line, the poet is trying to say that that he has, uh, he is utterly overwhelmed with the beauty of paddy fields. And he, he is here depicting that he has seen the swift rustle of the seeps of paddy, which is breaking on the banks of the poet's eardrums. And the poet is saying that he has also overheard the splendors mocking in the forest of Kuzi Thekera. Kuzi Thekera, it is a, a fruit tree, and uh, Jolfai, it is also a fruit, and it is often sour and omora leaf. So these all are, uh, uh, this you will uh, find abundantly in our uh, Assam and in our Assamese uh, field or in our uh, household. Okay. Then the poet is saying, Kite rearer, have you measured the wavelength of the kite? Mother's wing beats in the tunnel of the wind. Measure it and welcome the uh, plantain leaf emerging at the top. So before explaining these lines, I would like to reiterate here one thing that uh, actually poems are always open to interpret. Poems are always open to uh, have your own opinion, perspective and remarks. Therefore, whatever the meaning I will make out from these lines of the poem or from the whole poem, that will be downrightly mine. Okay? So, do not think that my interpretation, my explanation will be the only one. Okay? It is not an one-off. You can have your own perspective, you can have your own opinion, you can have your own interpretation. This is solely mine. Okay? So, you no need to accept whatever I will say, you can make your own interpretation. Therefore, I would suggest you to read the poem, have your own opinion. Okay? Through this video, I am just giving my own personal opinion. And it shouldn't bother you. If you have not liked my opinion, then that's too okay. You can uh, press the dislike button that you have already uh, possessed in your thumb or in your fingers. Okay. So through this line, the poet is trying to say that kite rearer, kite rearer is one who is flying the kite. And have you measured the wavelength of the kite? So the poet is, or the narrator of the poem is asking that have you measured the wavelength of the kite that you are flying? Mother's wing beats in the channel of the wind, measure it and welcome the plantain leaf emerging at the top. So now he is comparing the, that kite with the another element of from the nature. Then he is saying, the white and hill at base of the Kotoha bamboo clump, only there lines my soul's delight. The jackfruit gum passed also in the string of speeding wheel on the first the bell metal picture of our house given in my mother's dowry. He is the companion of the uh, prickly heat on my waist. So here now the poet is describing 
that uh, he is very happy, he is exhilarated because his soul is uh, uh, filled up with happiness because of this uh, Kotoha bamboo clump. Kotoha bamboo clump, this is a native uh, thing in our Assam. And he is saying that the jackfruit, jackfruit you must know, you might have known it. Uh, so the jackfruit gum passed also in the string of the spinning wheel on the first bell metal picture of our house. So he is saying that uh, his village is all, also um, affluent in jackfruit. So in our, each our villages you will get uh, jackfruit. So he is trying to describe how enriched his village is with these all kinds of vegetables, uh, sorry, fruits. And he's saying that um, gum pass also in the string of the spinning wheel on the first bell metal picture of our house given in my mother's dowry. So now he is trying to depict a, a, a symbol of Assamese culture that when some when a woman is married, then often uh, the means uh, his family or sorry her family will often give give off a kind of. Um, uh, a symbol to remember that uh, her actual home, home was somewhere, her birthplace was home, somewhere, but now she is uh, staying somewhere else and uh, now she has to uh, make her uh, this new home as her uh, permanent home. So that kind of thing. So he's saying that actually uh, the poet or the, the narrators that metal picture, metal picture is a kind of job where the, the poet is saying that he, uh, he uh, from uh, from which thing he just uh, drinks water and from that water he just uh, quest, uh, his, uh, quench his thirst. So he's saying that Actually, uh, that that metal picture of his house that was given by uh, his um, maternal uncle and auntie's family uh, during her his mother's marriage as a dowry. Okay, and he's saying that is the companion of the prickly heat on my way. So he's saying that 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 uh, metal picture is the companion, is the friend of the in the prickly heat on the poet's west. Okay, and he's saying how would you guess how much do the wet clips of the anthill assault the weight of the water of the mass dangara tank, my friend? Tank, as you all know, it's a kind of pond. You who are used to eat, eat, eating hot rice. How extraordinary is our labor to tear into shreds the only sky, the joint inheritance of us all. All the languages of the world are my inheritance. All the poverty, but the muga silk moth in the month of sot. Sot sot is a uh, Assamese month. Sot ma it is called as Sotma. After Sot, Bohak comes and Bohak is a, a month of festival, the uh, Rangali festival or the Bohak festival. It, it is celebrated for the, the whole month. Okay. And so here the poet is saying that all the poverty but the Muga silk moth in the month of Sot, the berry in Bohak and the Amona Pendi in Jade, let them remain forever, let not the galloping of forces and explosion of command bursting in our midsummer night's dream ever change them. So he is saying that my village is so enriched with these natural marvels and the, all the fruits of the world that I am so touched with my village. So the poet is saying that uh, let my village, this beauty, uh, not be snatched by the by the other uh, things of this of this world. And he's saying saying that this all Muga silk, that uh, Muga silk, it, it can be found especially in Assam. So if you don't know about it, please check it on the Google, then you will get to know. So he's saying that, that Muga silk is the pride of his village people. And that is also the pride of Assamese people in Assam. And that thing, and uh, silk month, month in the month of Sot, the berry in Bohak, and the Amona Pendi in Jet. And in the uh, Jet month, or the Jet Ma of Assamese calendar, at that time, Amona, it is a varieties of uh, Pendi called Amona. It is a kind of color. It, it has its own uh, unique color. And so it is saying that, that Amona Pendi, that is utterly unique and that can only be found in Assam during the Assamese month of Jet. So at that time, his village is to uh, diametrically filled up with various kinds of uh, means fruits and uh, vegetables like this. One of the uh, types of petty. Let them remain forever. Let not the galloping of forest. So he's saying that let it be. Let this all the natural creations be in my place, be in my village. Let it not destroy by any uh, other being of this planet. Then he's saying, when the bamboo piece is filled with the pruning knife, the bladder burst in the belly of the bahu fish, and with its pulp of the coconut, the skin of the green bamboo for binding will not be peeled, nor will the flat split of bamboo for the hand fan, for the sitting man, for the narrow wings of the bamboo ruler is my nostrils, joy trembling of my heart, eyes, heart bump. So through this line, the poet is trying to uh, portray that uh, in our typical Assamese village, you will get one thing, and that is a bahu fish. It is called as bahu mas. So people often consume it. So uh, this is one of the traditional feasts or food for the Assamese people. And they often put this thing in their a traditional cuisine. So that's why the poet is trying to depict here that that, that uh, uh, bahu fish, they often consume it and uh, they often uh, get it by uh, by by uh, bamboo pieces when it, it is split with the pruning knife. Means from after getting that bahu fish um, by what you call, I don't know, uh, maybe it is called as uh, uh, Hepa or what I call if if you are Assamese then you will get to know from where means uh, fish are uh, fish are stuck and when fish will, will be stuck it's a kind of jal but it is uh, made out of uh, bamboo bamboo okay so you will know if you are Assamese and I guess most of most of you are Assamese uh, so so he's saying that uh, that that um, bahu fish they often uh, catch in the summer days and they eat it with various kinds of dishes 
and that thing the police and the police also saying that in the summer time they also uh, make hand pen out of bamboo that you might have uh, seen in your ha houses in like bisoni like we call it as bisoni so that thing the police trying to say so that that bisoni or that uh, hand pen that is the uh, that is the gift of our uh, Assamese culture so let it not uh, uh, decay in time or with time so that kind of thing and he's saying oh such smell of the half ripe wood apple spinning round on the hill I make bright in the sand a single uh, piece, a piece given me by elder mother the swan of uh, Chakikowski the bill Dora bill the white of the, the Peace is the white of the art and of the inns. The gold copper is the lightning inside the heart. The crown on the head of the jurist, the fifth is discovered the sand. When the breast of the surf knife had marked the inches on the green bamboo ruler, the signing like copper pies, pieces was inside mines. The roller of the hand cotton, gene sound uh, grindingly for Swaras. How wonderful is the yellow of the wood of the jack, fruit tree of the inside of the wood apple. The touch of the smooth hair of the deer is acknowledged in the sack of its tail. In the chisel of the wat carpenter did the gimlet of the jack, fruit wood take shape to play the grinding despair of the cotton bean inside my belly. So now he has also here mentioned how Jack, uh, his village is also uh, enriched with jack food and what kind of uh, things they do with the jack food apart from consuming it and here he's saying that elder mother the great reason will not be transformed if Saras comes the heat of the smoky fire of the green bamboo will still make the art and beats to fly off your art and pot always we will remain the lost hope of the car or written with the teheras Keras on the plantain leaf. I shall become their poet from the air conditioned plastic tower, like when the color of the um, makori gila, the skin of the tangamara fruit and honey are busted in the hollow motor. Remember that, uh, and also the sugar cane juice boiling with waves, like layers of dao fruit. The charm gila is under the quid on the bed. Uh, Gukuni, Selpeti, Dafa, Nakha, no, no, nobody remembers them. With the pot of the gila, with the spotted skin on the elephant's ears, with the maroon spot on the pizza eyes, they flew away in the green of the venison wing of the last green imperial pigeon of the art. The last Majangori Sikrong is on the Adakori tree. So here he has mentioned many. Uh, unique things that can be found in Assam only. So I will not explain here by reading, reading the line. You can, you can have your own perspective and you can do one thing. You can mention those all things, whatever the boy has mentioned and the, you can, the, whatever you have got that you can mention in the exam. Okay. And if you can, then please uh, try to buy hard uh, three or four lines and then you can say that these kind of things were said by the boy in, in this sense and uh, you can see that lines in the below, in the following lines. And then you can quote, unquote, you, you can do whatever you like. And then if the boy is saying, I cannot start for the bright universe with walking stick in the hand for the Lord of the universe is uh, above. For so gravity only is sharpened swords cut off our time into pieces. So in that way the poem ends. So here the boy is trying to depict uh, that uh, how his village is filled up with various kinds of fruits and uh, why he wants uh, to be in his village and why he uh, why he always love his village and that kind of thing and the poet is also saying that may not this all beauty may not it fade after the independence and may not it fade after the uh, time after the uh, next generation or with the time so that kind of thing and so he in another way the poet is trying to um, uh, hear portray that he wants to hear project that may these all things last forever because this kind of thing can never be found in any other places of the planet and it can be found in his own village. Thank you so much. This is my own perspective. You can have your own perspective. Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye-bye.